Welcome, Welcome back, back Camly. Um, okay. She's sliding between her crib. You in that crib causing all kinds of issues. I don't know what your plan is. Are you good? You're putting yourself in crib jail? <laughs> You're silly. Are you ready to get a new bed today? She's just saying goodbye. Saying goodbye to your crib. Do you want to tell them what happened? What you figured out how to do? So this girl has learned how to climb out of her crib. I thought we had a lot more time with that crib. Her and her little sister are gonna be sharing a room soon enough. I was just planning on buying another one of the same exact set and just putting them next to each other and having cute little matching cribs. But that's not gonna happen because somebody knows how to crawl out and it's just not safe anymore. She's crawled out probably about twice and it was the funniest thing. We like put her down to sleep and Usually we just kind of let her whine and cry and be a little grumpy for a little bit. It usually lasts like four minutes and then she just goes to bed. But this very particular night, she was really, really upset. And in a matter of minutes, the crying stops, which is normal. We're like, okay, yeah, she stopped crying. She went to bed and then it only stops for like a good 10 seconds, which I assume is her walking from her crib to the door. And she goes underneath the door and goes, Mama. And I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> Did she just climb out of her crib? Like, I was like, I thought I might have, like, accidentally, like, not put her in her crib or something. Or, like, forgot. Or, like, I just had such a weird moment of, like, did I, like, put her down? I swear I just put her down. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I put her down. She climbed out of her crib. It was really funny. And then it happened the next night. I thought it was just because she was, like, super duper angry. But once she learned that she could do it, she's just been doing it. So it's definitely time to upgrade to a big girl bed. I'm kind of nervous. Not so much for the transition, but more for having a baby in that crib and then having Colette in the same room in a toddler bed able to kind of get out and mess with her sister whenever she feels like it. I'm just excited for like the camera system to be in her room and just like watch them be like super cute with each other. Cause Colette is so funny. Like she's already the funniest girl. Ever. And so like I can already imagine getting up in the middle of the night and going to her sister and like waking her up. Like, yeah. <laughs> It'll be cute. It will be cute, but hopefully she doesn't mess with her too much. <laughs> I think if anything, Colette's gonna be pissed at her sister because she's gonna be hungry and she's like, shh, go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brush dad is here. Thank you. I needed a brush thing. You know what I also need a haircut? Huh, it's really long. Mama's hair is really long too. Can I brush my hair? Brush Ozzy's hair? <gasps> Ozzy. Where's Ozzy? Where's Ozzy? Where is that? Oh, dog? he's running away. He's like, oh no, not today. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Good girl. Brush his hair. <laughs> All right, you ready? You ready to go get yourself a new bed? <gasps> Clap your hands. I'm excited for you, Colette. This is a big step in your life. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm excited. She's for growing her. up too fast. <laughs> <laughs> you are so silly today. This is what she's gonna do on her bed. This yeah, is, this she's is like... practicing to jump on her bed later. <laughs> is that what you're gonna do all night? We're just gonna hear you laughing. <laughs> first things first, we have an appointment to go to though. I have to get another shot and they're also gonna do another little ultrasound. And then we're gonna go bed shopping right after that. Are you gonna hold my hand this time? Are you gonna hold my hand while I get my shot? No? Wow. So we're just gonna get a little ultrasound and measure my cervix and make sure it's not dilating or shortening or whatever. All right, how the doctor for today, guys? <laughs> Let's just beep boop 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 beep boop boop beep. Yeah, all right, you're all set. Are you gonna lay on my lap while they do the ultrasound? I don't think that's gonna work. I am all done. I got my booty shot. It hurt more than it did last time. I don't know, maybe my left booty cheek is more sensitive. <laughs> I was not expecting to get like a full on ultrasound today. I thought they were just gonna check my cervix, see how it's doing, and send me on my way. But we got some pictures of her. There's her side profile. And then this is actually our first 3D picture of her. 
and she's flipping us off. <laughs> she has not been very great about getting pictures. Pretty much every single time we go there, we try and get a 3D ultrasound and every single time she's literally just like this. But this time, she looks like she's like almost going like this with her hand. Yeah. And then she's flipping us off with her other hand, so. Thanks for that little girl. She's got an attitude, like her sister. Do you think she looks like Colette at all? She looks like you. Looks like me. She looks like me. When they checked my cervix, they did say that it is shortening which is definitely not a good sign. As your body kind of starts preparing itself for labor, your cervix gets shorter and shorter, and it's a little early in the pregnancy for my cervix to be shortening right now. And that's what I'm taking the shots to prevent from happening. At this point, you know, like, she's gonna come early. <laughs> that's kind of like already known. It's just a matter of when and keeping her in there for as long as we possibly can and i just really hope that it doesn't progress anymore and the shots help because it is scary and it's definitely not good news to hear that my cervix is shortening so we'll pray for baby girl and hopefully these shots you know um do what they're supposed to because we have the next appointment in two weeks mm -hmm. so we'll really get to see if it did anything Anyways, we are headed to Ikea. They definitely have toddler beds there. So we're gonna see what Ikea has to offer. Plus, I really want some meatballs from their little food court. <laughs> so, let's go get a bed. We made it. We haven't been here in so long. It's been a long time. I'm kind of mad at Ikea right now. Yeah, we kind of have uh, trust issues with Ikea because our bed broke that we got from there, but we'll see. We'll get her a nice sturdy one. You're gonna bring your puppy with you? Okay, take good care of him, don't lose him. We're kind of skipping through and going straight to the cafeteria to eat. Colette is hungry, I'm hungry. Baby girl is hungry, I almost said her name. And Landon, are you hungry? I'm hungry and her dog's hungry. Oh, your dog's hungry? We'll get him something to eat as well. You're doing really good walking. Yeah. She's like, whose house are we in? <laughs> I know. Oh no, we're getting distracted. It's time to go eat. We'll be back. These are really cute. I can't wait to see her in her bed girl bed. Oh wow. Alright, okay, let's eat. Come on, oh, we're gonna get too invested. Come on, Colette. Bye bye. She's going in the tent. I cannot even express how excited I am. Need a juice. Look at your puppy, he's eating. There we go, eating our chicken. Good girl. Maybe we'll get you some toys, because they do have a little toy section. Because you're being so good today. You sat through my doctor's appointment, you're eating your chicken. Good girl. That was delicious. That was like a little Thanksgiving feast. I'm definitely stuffed, and she is really interested in these beds already. Oh, that's cool. I kind of like this one. Uh-huh, this is kind of big. I like that though, so she has room. Yeah, she won't just roll over. And then there's this little girly pink one. I don't know about this. That's kind of neat, because that would match, the, actually that might be perfect. Yeah. Because this would match the same exact crib. It would, but I don't know. I kind of like that one better. I mean, they're only gonna share a room for like six months. So, when she does get her own room, it'll be like her own. Why don't we get her this pink one? The pink one? So far, this one's my favorite. You're joking, right? No, I like it. Not the, this, though. No, not this. Well, they have the uh, this room over here, so let's go check it out. Yeah, let's see if this is all they have to offer or not. Come on, Coco. Come on. Yeah. What? Can you puppy? And the cookie. So it looks like they have the pink one in white, which definitely changes my mind a little bit. I do like it better in white. I thought it only came in pink. What do you think, Colette? How will we let you decide since it's your bed? Yeah, I like this. I think this is it. <laughs> Why are you looking under it? I just want to see how it's built. Just like, you know, is it going to break or? <sighs> I could definitely snuggle with her on this. I could see it. Me and her snuggling. We're not play hoops. Play hoops. I mean, 
A bed's a bed. Maybe when you guys are older, you can do a bunk bed like this, but not yet. She needs a crib. One day, I had a bunk bed with my sister on the night. Do you wish this was your room? You having fun? Come on, what other rooms do they have? Ooh, this is a cool room. I took a picture of it. You took a picture of this room? No, of the thing. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why? No. Aw, the little nursery. I'm really sad that this baby won't get her own nursery. Colette didn't either. Not until she was one. Oh, night night, baby. Come on, let's go night night. Night night. He's going night night. Dracula. You gonna put that one night night? Night night, Dracula. Night night, puppy. Night night, puppy. Say night night. Bang. Oh, you want me to get him out? Hey, go. Good morning. Good morning. Should we change his diaper? So we pretty much got it narrowed down between the two that we were talking about. I like this one and I like the look of it and the simplicity, but I don't love the bulkiness and the height. I feel like it kind of limits where in the actual room you can put it, like putting it against a wall or not or whatever. I feel like it would look kind of weird in her room especially trying to fit this like giant bed with the crib as well landon's a fan of it i'm not really a fan of it that's his favorite though i like the metal one but there's also this one over here and i didn't realize that they come in different colors so now i'm kind of thinking maybe that one of course not in black but that's kind of like a good medium like it's not the bars because he doesn't like the look of the bars but it's not like super tall like this one is i don't know Maybe we'll compromise. Yeah. What do you think if we just kind of meet in the middle and do that one? Okay. Okay. The only thing I don't really love is the side rails. This is definitely more just like secure and like you climb into it and you're kind of caged in a little bit more. And with this one, we definitely have to invest in some side rails. I don't know, she definitely fall out of it. Like that's a lot lower yeah. to the ground. Tell me what do you think? What do you think? All right, I think a decision has been made. I feel bad though. That's fine, I like it. It's, it will work. You like it? Yeah. It's what you want? Yes. You're not just saying that because I want it? Correct. All right, I think we found it. I wonder if they restocked on Coco's. Oh, yep, they just got a new batch. Hey, you wanna get my cart, little girl? <laughs> All right, we got everything we needed and we're ready to check out. I'm very proud of us because we ended up getting only the bed and nothing else. And that never happens. So we're walking out of here with just what we came for. It's time to go home and build it. We made it home and we got the bed. Landon's getting the last little part. This is kind of bad timing because her bedtime is pretty soon. And she's definitely tired from running around Ikea. So we're kind of racing against the clock to get this bed set up here. I'm going to start getting Colette ready for bed, brush her teeth and everything like that. And hopefully right when she's ready, the bed will be ready as well. First, we got to pick out some jammies. Let's see. I think since you got a big girl bed tonight, you should get a big t-shirt to wear to bed. I think Colette's gonna wear this to bed. Earth friendly, very cozy, very oversized, cute little shirt. You ready to brush your teeth? Gotta get it wet. And then your toothpaste. If mama can open it. Don't do what I do. It's not good for your teeth. There you go. And brush your teeth. I'm gonna help you, okay? Good girl. And the top. Oh. She got you the top. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Here, you do it. You do it a little bit. Good girl. No. Ah. Uh, no. Ah. Uh, no. Please. No. I'll give you a high five if you do. No. Please. Brush your teeth. They're dirty. Ew. Dirty teeth. Ew. No one wants dirty teeth. Brush, 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 brush. Good girl. Thank you. 
Yay! Coco did it! You did so good. All right, let's do that hair. Yeah. So. What that? Color? What color is that? Green, orange. Can I do your hair? I know. Doesn't feel good, huh? It's raining! And spray your hair. And spray your hair. Oh, your hair is all wet. Now I'm going to get the hairbrush and brush it out. Good girl. Hair is nice and soft. Boop. Rub it on your legs. I put a little bit too wet. Here. Do you want to put some on Mama's belly? Put it on the baby. Oh, thank you. Rub it in. There you go. All done. Let's go see if Daddy's done with the bed yet. I highly doubt it. <laughs> How are things going in here? Uh, I haven't even started. <laughs> I've just opened it. <laughs> but it's gonna be all done really soon. Let's go, come on. All right, your bed is done. This is your new bed, Colette. This is where you're gonna go night night. Go night night, lay down. Oh, night night. Oh, night night. That's a night I think she likes it. Can you climb in and out easily? <laughs> perfect. Perfect size. I like it. It's perfect for you. <laughs> Are you gonna go night night in here? I don't think she understands quite yet. She's like, yay, new trampoline in my room. <laughs> Daddy's gonna go get you some blankets. You're gonna go to bed. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, you got so much energy. You're so excited about it. Yeah. You gonna read a book in your new bed? Come here. So this is the setup we have for now. I don't know about permanently, but It'll work for tonight. It works out because her bookshelf's right here. She could just grab a book and read it. Uh, Hopefully we don't wake up to her covered in books in her bed. We'll see, but for now we're gonna read a book to her and get her nice and settled because it is her first night in her new bed and we definitely want her to be sleepy and tired and comfortable and ready. She's asleep in bed. She actually went down really easily, which is surprising for a new bed. I'm really proud of her, and I'm kind of sad. Yeah, I know. We'll see what happens in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting. She doesn't know how to open doors yet. But she usually wakes us up anyways to let us know. You know, I'm awake. <laughs> but seeing how easily it just went, like, she was definitely ready. Yeah. She really proved it to us. Like, I'm ready for this, guys. She laid down in there and read a book, and... The second we kind of got up and left, I really just expected her to like bolt to the door and start banging on it and being like, Mama, Dada, and like crying under the door, putting her hands like underneath the crack and throwing a full on fit. But like she just chilled in her bed. I really think she likes it. We made a good choice. Yeah, she likes this one. I honestly think she would have liked any bed. I think she just feels like a big girl in it. And she's like, I'm a big girl. <laughs> I think it also has a lot to do with the fact that we're all really, really exhausted from Ikea. She was running around the whole time. It should be an Olympic sport chasing a child <laughs> around Ikea because there's just so much to get into, so many distractions. It's like a maze itself. So yeah, we're really tired from that. We'll see how tonight goes. Hopefully she's down for the night and for good and she doesn't wake up in the middle of the night screaming for us. Should be interesting. Her first night in a big girl bed it goes well that pretty much wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video camely